Hello, welcome to the second part of the Dwarven Outpost Ravenhill uh, build. In this we're going to be making the bridge. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention in the last video is when I talked about the uh, plinth base that the pieces sit on, I gave the width and length, but I didn't give the height, which that is going to be 3 inches and that's going to govern the height of our bridge. So um, this is not a very difficult build at all. Project rating difficulty of one. It's mainly it's all going to be made from foam, and then we're going to cover it with mod rock. So it's not that difficult. The hardest bit is if you don't have a tabletop hot wire cutter. It's just going to take you a bit of time to cut the foam. So let's uh, crack on, shall we? First thing you're going to need for the bridge is a piece of foam that's going to be 15 inches, 15 and a half inches long. What I did with that is because I knew the board was going to be. Uh, two foot by two foot. Uh, the plinths, I wanted the, the here's the base is going to go on, so when it rests against this, this hole from one end to the end, end of the bridge, which you can't get in camera, would be two foot, so that marks the two foot boundary. So that's why I come up with the uh, 15 and a half inches. Um, it's three inches high, obviously, because as you just said, then it's going to go against the plate. Um, base there and that's three inches and the foam's two inches thick so that's going to be how wide it's going to be and that's the basis of your uh, bridge um, if we look at the picture it sort of has columns coming off so what we're going to do is have a, four pieces that are cut six inches uh, by um, obviously that's two inches wide and this is an inch and a quarter and these will sort of go here, sort of around something like this, with the ends all cut away and ruined. Uh, but next stages we've got to do is I want to angle the corners off here to make them make the columns look a bit more dwarven. And I sort of roughly marked. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to cut some doorway archways here, dwarven archways here, and the end archway here will be fallen and ruined and crumbled away. So that is what we're going to work on next. So what I've done is I've come in half an inch either side here, half an inch and half an inch there, and just marked up the lines. And what I'll do now is I'll just cut these two bits out. So this is them uh, all cut out. Um, now I've got to do the others and then we're gonna attach them in and probably chop do a quite heavy chopping away. Uh now thinking probably coming down about that much. Uh, but next, once I've got all the other three cut out, I wanna uh, work out where it's gonna go. So uh, I'm thinking possibly coming in about an inch here, having a doorway the same width as the platform, so that's two inches, but having it probably half an inch away from there, so I'm going to use this to mark it up, I'm just going to eyeball this, and then it'll be the other set will come here, like so, so in here will be the doorway, so again coming in about half an inch, and we'll come in half an inch here. Mark these. Like so. So I've now got two marks two inches wide. Uh, I think I'm going to come down. Am I going to mark? I'm trying to think about the. Uh, yeah, it should be strong enough. If I come down half an inch from the top. And then draw that in. So, and then come in half an inch at the bottom here, half an inch at the top here, and draw those up. Mark those up. We've then got a dwarf and looking, looking. Error, which is this, 
what we'll do is we'll cut this out. I'm a bit concerned about whether that will be strong enough, but it should be. Yeah, I can't see why not. <laughs> so I'll do, I'm gonna mark this up, this one here, and cut these out. We've got the bridge cut out. I've even cut this end bit out, which will ruin a bit in a minute. But we've got, I want to get the columns on next, and I've marked where I want to have it go up to. So we're gonna just cut them out now. Rather than do it by wire cutter, just gonna get a knife, and because we want it to look we're not going to be gentle or pretty, we're just going to get the knife and start sort of hacking into it in, in different places. Uh, you don't have to worry about getting all the way through at this stage. Because then what you're going to do, once you hack through it a bit like that, and try and snap it like so, so it gets a nice, really busted end. But we're not done there yet, so we can still hack out really rough, just hack out bits, any corners you see, try and get rid of, come in, really make it like it's like it's been destroyed, which is what we're going for, so yeah, something like, something like that now, so that will sit here, like so, um, and what we're going to do is going to, while we're here, we're just going to do the same for, same for this, we're just going to hack, hack this to make it look like it's, it's, it's been destroyed, it's been ruined, so, make it pretty here, just to, Like so. so, it just looks like it's fallen away. Uh, I'm going to do the other three uh, columns now, and then we'll come back and glue them together. All we got to do now is glue them in place. Uh, it's just a simple case of let's just let's draw a line along here. Oh, that's the glue area. So what we're going to do. Put it in place, the line across, and that will just tell me where to put the glue. So I can see here on this piece, all I'll do now is come in, glue in that area, and then glue it. Put that in, in where it needs to go and just leave it like so. The same again. Put it in place. Put it in place that's lined up. So opposite each other. What these will do, as well as making it look a bit visually interesting, they're going to stabilise it so you stop it from rocking over when you're putting your models on. Like so. See now. Let's get the line up a bit. And all we're going to do is let that dry now. And once it's dry, we're going to cover it in mod rock, which will be the next stage. So it's now covered in mod rock. Um, but what I've done is I've left these bits exposed and the end, the end there exposed because actually like the detailing you get there from the uh, snapped foam. So I'm going to undercoat it in Mod Podge and black paint anyway so that will help seal this up and protect it. Which is what I'm going to do now and then I shall paint it greys pretty much the same way as the ruins that we made last video. So I'm going to get on with that now. And this is the bridge painted and finished now. It's painted in exactly the same way as the actual basic ruins. Um, just looks like that. There's nothing, nothing to it. Just 
dry brushed with the usual test pots, flintstone, and then storm cloud. And that's it, that's all there is to it, the bridge. Uh, in the next part, we're going to get to the main part of this build, which is to add all snow on and things. So until then, take care. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it, and subscribe to the channel for more great content. Game on and continue to support our wonderful hobby.